everyone, today's video is going to be my Briar Collection Tour, Stablemates Edition, because I simply have too many to do all at once, and also because it would take, it would be, it, my camera is really heavy and I don't want to carry it and hold it to the shelf, so instead I just brought them all shot. Now I do have several on the way, I do have two customs that are coming, and then a couple others that are coming, but this is it for now. I like how I gesture with the horse. I forgot one. It's just bear with me. Because that's what I do is I forget things. Okay. So, let's get started. Also, please put any requests for Briar movies in the comments below. I would super appreciate it. I'm sorry if you can hear my bird in the background. She's in a bad mood. Okay, so my first horses that I'm going to show you are some of the lower end models. So first off I have a custom that I painted this year at Briarfest. Her eyes make her look like a demon, but I like the Appaloosa work I did on her butt. So yeah, here she is, and she is in, I believe, the Prancing Arabian mo model. I'm not sure though, so if you know the answer, put it in the comments. So we got her. And then also in that mold, I have this. This is um, my Sunstar, and that's his name. That's his show name. And then this, he's just beautiful. Lorelai. Lorelai, I'm, I'm filming, baby. And then, he um, is one of my favorites. I just think he's beautiful. If that bird does not shut up, I swear, Lorelai. <laughs> Um, she doesn't like it when I start talking to the camera because she thinks I'm crazy, I guess. Okay, I also have this horse, and I believe she's a stock horse. Um, this is Athena. I don't show her, though, because she does have some messed up markings on her butt. So, yeah. This is my Mustang. This is Aztec. Again, um, I do show him, and he... His um, show name is Heart of a Warrior, but um, his stable name is Aztec, and this is actually one of my favorite molds, and I just love the way his head goes. I only have one, but he's already on my favorite list. Okay, my next, this is my um, sport horse, my Appaloosa sport horse. This is Renegade. I do not show her, because whoever painted her, seriously, there's such a bad overspray. I'm having to yell over my parakeet. So I'm sorry about that. I'm just going to hope she'll shut up long enough. Okay, and then I do have my first ever, which I, I recently got from a, someone I know who did a trade. I recently got my first ever um, Sailmate with a Stand. I don't really like them, but I do like this one a lot. I think I'm going to start congoing her. This is my Jubbing Wormblood. I named her Gina after my mother. And I don't really show her because, again, she has awful overspray. Um, okay, this is a cust. I'm actually not sure. I think she might have been a custom, but I can't remember because I ordered her um, secondhand off somebody. We did a trade. This is um, Tsunami, and it's actually he, and I do not show him again. Simply because he won't stand up and he's falling over and that annoys me. It makes me mad. If you can't hear me over the bird, put that in the comments and I'll do a re I'll refilm this because yeah. Okay, and then I have this little drafter and he's a body. Um, I'm gonna have him customized pretty soon, but I just wanted to show you guys him before I got him customized. Um, okay, and now I'm gonna go into my. This is the last of my regular run models. This is, um, Wind Dancer. And she is in the Tennessee Walker mold. I love this mold. I adore it. It's my best friend. Okay, so that's it for the, like, just regular models. I'm going to go into the folds now. This is Yatima. And, yeah, I love the model mode that she's in, mold that she's in, but she keeps falling over. And then I do have the itching full, and I'm going to get him customized because he's got some really bad, he's been ripped up because I move a lot. And then I have Pale Bird and Atlas, and again, I'm going to get these, these are my only foals. I don't have very many foals, 
Um, I would like to get some more, but that's just not something I'm going to do right now. Okay, so moving out of regular into, um, well actually I do have my first ever etched custom. Lorelei, shut up. I do have my first um, ever etched custom. This is, um, I can't decide on a name for him. I'm thinking of naming him America or Liberty or Justice, but I'm not sure yet. So, yeah, he's a beautiful etched custom. Now on to my Briarfest models. So this was from my first Briarfest, the Global Gallop theme, and this is Compass. She is in the Cantering Warm Blood mold, which I am in love with, and I am trying to conga her. Okay, this is from the 25th, or from the um, Happy Birthday Briarfest edition. This is Funfetti. He is the blue version, and he is just so handsome. Well, she actually. Funfetti. And then I have Emmy, and she was from the Lights, Camera, Briarfest theme. Again, all these came from my single day ticket models, and I go with my with family, and they normally just give me their horses because they're there to see the horse shows and not buy the briars. So, and then we have Oscar, and he's again from a single day edition from the Gambler's Choice. Okay, and then on to the this was from the fairy tale theme. We have Maleficent. I don't know how we ended up with four, because this was a year I just went with two people. Me and my grandma. Okay, this was Flora, I want, no, Fauna. And then Meriwether. And Flora. Now, I really don't like decorator models, but I love Flora's design. And I love Meriwether. So I might be selling Maleficent and Fauna but I'm not 100% sure yet. I wouldn't sell them very cheap though. Okay, now are my last ones, and they're my only glossies, and I adore glossies. They're my weakness. Um, so this is Crepe Suzette from this year's Briarfest, and she's just so amazingly shiny. She's got this really cool mark on her chest, which I think was an accident, but if not, it still looks cool. So got her, and then I got Meringue, and I love this this mold, and I think I want to get more of it. So if anyone has any for sale or trade in this mold, I will get in contact with you, please. And so he is just beautiful, and he and Grapes is that were the ones I wanted the most this year. So yeah, that is all my stable mates, and I gotta go pay attention to my bird now.